our program deals with the technology side of it, but we also add the communication side of it. So when a graduate goes out, they're a leader that can communicate across the board with uh, employees, with uh, customers, with management, and explain to them those technical processes. It also has kind of a theoretical uh, component of why these things are important to use in organizations, why these technologies work, what these technologies can bring to the table, and not only that, but how people use those technologies and how organizations use those technologies. So not just teaching them how to perform or do or build or use the technology, but teaching them what the implications are of that technology. The in-class part of the program allows students to get synergies and ideas that they wouldn't get otherwise in a more hands-off or an online program as opposed to being on campus. They also gain a lot of benefits by being able to network with other organizations on UK's campus. For example, UK Healthcare, um, there's the Institute for Rural Journalism and Community Issues that they may be able to partner with. There are programs across and in other colleges that could be good fits. There's a adolescent development lab that does a lot of work on cyber bullying. So one of the largest growing areas in ICTs and technology trends that businesses are looking for is security. So things like cyber security, network security, uh, being a security analyst, being a security officer, things like that. So our program has a specialization track just devoted to technology and analytics so they can work in the security field because there are several courses directly geared towards uh, security in that track. Take courses that deal with health informatics, that deal with uh, more like how healthcare organizations use technology to bring better healthcare to different populations, to improve health in different populations, to track and analyze statistics about health behaviors or about diseases. One big kind of interesting aspect of ICT is this idea of ICT for D, so ICT for development. So there are a lot of other countries that have access to technologies but may not have as free access and then there are other countries who don't have access to the technology yet. So looking at the differences in those countries and maybe even coming up to the table as a faculty member or as a student or as a graduate of this program and helping those developing countries come up with plans for how to implement these technologies in their environments allows the student to walk away and go into the job market and say that I have these skills in this specific area. So the classes are tailored to those specific areas. Also though, we allow students to kind of more or less customize their own if they feel that their ultimate goal is kind of a combination of some of those. And then we have the required courses which kind of give them a background in all of things ICT so they get a little bit of touch on a little bit of policy because it's important no matter what field you go into they get some of the leadership skills that really make this program stand out from other programs and they get a little bit of kind of information and technology design in the required courses as well mm -hmm.